This is Twit. And then there's SwiftKey, an app that I've been using on my devices for years now. SwiftKey was once a paid app, and I was always happy to recommend them to everyone because, well, it's worth the cost to me. But recently, they switched to free. That means no barriers to a top-of-the-line keyboard replacement. Of course, SwiftKey still has to make money, and their current business model has them offering the recently launched SwiftKey store from inside the app. There you'll find an abundance of themes for the keyboard from straightforward gray Radiance, to the characters of Frozen, to graveyards with ghosts and bones. Okay, so there's definitely some cheese in there, but hey, people love to theme, and some people are willing to pay for that kind of customization. SwiftKey, like Swipe, has a cloud service that keeps everything synced between multiple devices using the keyboard. There's personalization of predictions that can be pulled from a number of installed apps and synced on a regular basis. That helps to keep text predictions close to your own writing style. SwiftKey Flow is the gesture typing engine here, and it has some time-saving features as you get more accustomed to using them. For example, you never really need to lift your finger off the screen when you hit the end of a word. Just swipe from word to word and flow to text the words and splits them up automatically once you're done. You can also glide your finger through the space bar to register that in the series. This is all great when you remember to use it. Personally, I have a hard time thinking about what I need to say fast enough to do this for very long sentences. SwiftKey offers multiple screen layouts, similar to Swipe. There's support for more than 800 emojis and more than 80 languages, including up to three languages that SwiftKey can support at one time. Find SwiftKey for free in the Play Store.